Personally, it means a lot of different things to me. Um, one of the things that stand out to me personally is um, empowered women, empower other women. I think the Inspire Inclusion slogan uh, basically drives a important message. It emphasizes a lot on for us to create an environment where women uh, feel respected, valued, and uh, treated fairly. It means um, to ensure that every woman's needs, are aspirations, and um, yeah, is met or is understood in any decision-making processes. This team, Inspire Inclusion, oh, I love that because it just includes all of us as a team. Not only women, but we have our men flocks, we have our partners that inspire and give us the support to work here at TPA as well. As a woman, the, it's the power of making sure that everyone is involved in whatever activity you're doing because you, you can't do it without the support of your team. When it comes to women, I guess, um, it's all about getting women involved in maybe the decision making in the organization. Inspire inclusion, I define it as uh, including women in every like decision making to feel that being empowered and feel like belonging to a group. Inspire inclusion to me um, means a lot. It's inspiring basically both men and women, I'd say. Probably say that it's more about ensuring that women uh, who are part of the organization, and of course part of the industry as well, are given opportunities to have voices at the boardroom, um, ensuring that we all have equal voices, regardless of um, our gender. Uh, empowerment uh, with reference to my mother she always empower me I would say she's a doer she's a leader I would describe my best friend um, as a I value woman I, I believe perseverance is like despite whatever I'm still gonna push through I may cry today but I will be strong tomorrow the one word that I would describe those different categories of women is um, inspirational. In one word, I'd say strong. I'd say strong. Uh, women are very strong. Resilient. I'd say uh, mysterious, but uh, skillful. I'll just say amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say we are powerful. The one word that comes to my mind when I think of, I mean, to describe a woman strong, women are strong, they can do anything. I would say be, be a woman of power, of position and of purpose. Um, be a Proverbs 31 woman. I would listen and learn from uh, women as well, and also uh, uh, learn from women's experience and understand the unique challenges they face as a woman. Find value in yourself. That's the core. Let's not look down on ourselves as a woman. Let's, let's find value in ourselves and align our values with what our purpose, our goal, so that you have a, a divine intervention because you're here for a reason. Personally, for me, it's leading by example. So if I want to have a dialogue with a woman who's considerate, who's courageous, who's easy to get along with, I would apply the same principles or expectations on myself, and that is to lead by example. We used to say that sky is the limit, but I'll, I will say that uh, universe is limitless. Women can achieve equal on an equal playing field, just like males. But the only barrier would be the women themselves. It's nothing I can do. It's nothing the system, the community can do. So if you tell yourself that you can do it, the universe is open. Nothing will stop you. Even sky is no limit. 
prioritizing activities that emphasize on inclusion. At the end of the day, every Papua New Guinean has a right to contribute. I believe in sharing like skills and knowledge. Those of us who have certain skills and knowledge, especially like for tourism, we can share that. And also we can support and encourage those who are already making a difference um, in tourism or in whatever sector. The challenge at the moment is we think of what others think of ourselves. See, the opinions of others do not determine who you are. You shouldn't take someone else's opinion, make it yours. So it's only just having to know yourself first before you can overcome these barriers. The role of women in future, I, I see that women will be more actively involved. Uh, in terms of decision-making level, I, I, I also believe that women are good decision-makers. I personally would think that we women are in the future at this time. So many women are in like director position, even women are in the parliament already. So I believe we are successful already. We are in that peak of being successful if we compare back to our mothers and our grandmothers' time. I think a lot has evolved over the years. Uh, more women are starting to equip themselves in terms of capacity and knowledge and skills and um, in, the, in terms of the future. And I, I just hope that there's more women that come to the table um, in leadership roles. I would say trust in your abilities, uh, know your unique strengths that you have, and uh, always express your mind, stand up, speak up, and uh, strive towards your dreams. Know your word, know what you want. Engage in relationship, in working partnerships, in whatever, but do not let one person, one individual dilute the power that you have. Know where you stand and speak confidently, contribute confidently to the development of our country, and most importantly, make space for other young women to grow. Ah, just, just be yourself. I like to inspire women. Um, my one goal out to the women out there, the women flock on this International Women's Day is inspire another sister, inspire another friend, a colleague to include them in all your daily talk, walk. You see someone that's out there that needs help, go and help them. Do not talk about it, help them. Be kind to each other. As simple as that, to be kind to each other. We're already facing an uphill battle in workplace and maybe at work, so just to be kind to each other, yes. Number one, stay strong and number two, um, reach out for help if you need help. Be a cheerleader where we encourage all women to celebrate our successes in whatever endeavors we, we do in life. Yeah. My advice is to be yourself. Um, if you are given an opportunity, wherever space that is, don't be afraid to speak your mind. Be confident, be bold to your peers, um, colleagues, friends, family. Just got to stand bold and be confident. One piece of advice uh, for young women who are coming up in uh, professional spaces, be the best version of yourself. Uh, go for opportunities, go the extra mile in whatever you do and make sure that you're recognized. We have to support each other and we also have to work with our men for because Society is made up of men and women. We need the men as much as they need us. We are a source of energy, male and female. But our structure and complexity differentiate us. If we can harness that energy without even setting barriers to ourselves, the sky is not the limit for women. The universe is open. You can conquer at length and depth and breadth.
That's my advice. Thank you.